<laughs> anyway, who's last in the individual window? I don't know, mate. Oh, I do. McGregor! <laughs> well drawn, bro. <laughs> 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 Where'd you get through? 13 magpies. <laughs> That's the worst draw you've had for the last four years. <laughs> <laughs> Hello everyone. We're here today at Rookery Waters on the Saturday Open. I'm just fishing the open over Magpie and Jay today. I think there's about 24, 25 of us on. I've drawn a peg that ain't particularly brilliant, but you never know, peg 13 magpie. And just, just starting short here on the pellets, micro pellets, and four mil expander on the hook. Just see what happened. Just been a cold night, so hopefully the F1s are feeding down this end of the lake. That's where they tend to live more. Sort of from here around to peg 16 is a good area. And we'll just see what happens. There's indication there straight away. Sack will be dead opposite me on peg 34, which is a, usually a flyer, but he'll take some beating off there today. Yeah, fish straight away. Nice little start. Three pound common. <clears throat> and just hopefully repeat that.
So the plan of the day is just to start off short here, fish on it until it completely dies, and then probably go out long 13 metres. Probably start off on pellets out there. And if that doesn't work, then I'll probably change it to maggots. Probably just tap in a food to start with. We don't get no response and we'll start pinging a the food there and try and make a little bit of noise and just keep fishing through the water I think. We'll see how this goes for a little while first. Sometimes you can get a little run of four or five fish head before that completely dies but And hopefully later on, maybe the last hour, last hour, hour and a half, I'm gonna fish long down to my left. There's a load of leaves gathered up to the next platform. So hopefully that might hold a few fish underneath for how cold it is. We'll make a few decisions later on in the day. Just having a look round, I can't see anybody had anything yet, so... Looks like we had a half decent start. It's going to be tricky today anyway, I think. Between 60 and 80 pounds maybe. Depends on... How them flying pegs fish, but... Sometimes they don't produce, so it'll be an F1 day, I think, maybe a bit later. Another one straight away. Look. Sounds like an F1, this one. Might be a little carp again. Here it is. <clears throat> I'll have a start for four pounds. Repeat that again, keep going. Mm. Quickly had them two and had no more signs. Maybe just be patient for a little bit longer and just give it five more, five or ten more minutes here. Let's we'll see what happens. There's one or two fish coming out, but one and two, I think. Thank you. 
Being patient and just waiting for that little tiny dink. This one is a little left one. A lovely big F1. Good two, two and a half pound these. And I just feel like I backed off a little bit from that short line, so we'll just have a look. It'll go out 13 metres, just slightly to the left here. Just slightly shallower that way. Still on the 4mm pellet, 4mm soft. And the looks of it, it's fishing. It's fishing quite tricky. Not a lot being caught. Ross on 19's had f five fish. So we're doing all right. We've got four fish. There we go. Just going out 14 and a half meters. Changed it, started off on pellets out there, but just changed it to ping and maggots, what I absolutely love doing. And uh, straight away we're coming to a fish, which uh, feels like a little carp. If they, if they come onto that line, you can soon build a waiter. It's my favourite way of fishing, ping and maggots. You can't be like there's a nice mirror cup. Look. Lovely. Oh, that's a better one. Five, six pound. Perfect.
we straighten again slowly. We're just approaching the first hour mark and to be honest we've just gone better than what we thought. We had four short and just had a couple of nice carp on the maggots out of 14 and a half metres here, just pinging a few maggots. We've got, we've got six or seven fish for around 20 pounds so a good start. Let's hope it continues. So I've just got two lines going at the moment. I'll just one slightly sort of to the right. It's just facing the wind a little bit, so it's making it hard to ping maggots there. And so I'm just tapping them in a little, sort of ten or a dozen maggots in at a time. But the pinging line is so much better. I'm just trying to get two lines going so I can rotate, keep the fish coming, but. 
This line to the right just isn't producing nothing at the moment. So now I just had an indication. <laughs> so <coughs> So just hit the two hour mark and to be honest with you, things gone a bit slow. Had, I think we had another two or three F1s in, this, in the second hour, but just got pestered by a little perch and a few little silverfish. So I've just plumbed another line up, 14 and a half metres to my right, and just gone back on the pellets just to see what happens, see if we can draw, to see if we can get a few F1s on the pellets here. I see Sack opposite me, he's He's catching quite well. Looks like he's fishing pellets, so. I've seen a few fish just top slightly to my right, so. I just thought I'd plumb another line up and just see. See if we can snare one or two. We'll see what happens anyway. I think we've got about 26, 27 pound at the moment. Yeah, we're doing all right. It's just I think Sack's, Sack's gone ahead, but I think most people have got sort of around the twenty pound mark, so twenty to thirty pound anyway. So uh, we're, we're doing all right. We'll just stay nice and patient, and just see what happens. <coughs> Just, just plumbed another line up and I pulled that one first put in, but I've just literally gone straight back out and it's gone straight under. Just and that's the key of this winter fishing. If you're not getting the boys, just plumb another line up and. See if you can find them again. Was definitely worth it anyway. 
gone straight back into another one. Big F1.
lovely earth one, that one. But... Definitely worth changing back to them micros. So we're just coming up with an hour and a half to go. <coughs> I'm still getting the odd bite out here on this pellet line. But I think next time I come in, I'm just gonna big pot some maggots down to that next platform ready for that last hour because that last hour you, down them edges you can sometimes put a big weight in I mean there's no nice depth down there we've got about three and a half maybe touching four foot so I think I still come in there so we'll, we'll give it a go anyway I'm just gonna I'm still getting the odd bite here so But yeah, I'll, I'll definitely um, put some big, big pops maggots down in that next platform. There's plenty of cover down there with a load of leaves gathered up in the corner there. So I, <coughs> I have fancy there'll be a few, few carp down there. And usually this end of the lake, <coughs> usually this end of the lake, they can be some big fish, 10 pounders sometimes. We'll give it a go anyway. There's definitely a food fish there now, I can see him fizzing. Gonna big pop maggots down to that next platform. That looked lovely down there. All them leaves have blown out of there a little bit, so I can just I think I can get a nice rig in there. But if they come on that line they're usually big fish, ten pounds. and I'll give it another little tiny top up and then we'll, then we'll go down on it and see what happens. <laughs> Thank you. 
getting an F1 every putting on the pellet line now. And hopefully it continues because these F1s you can soon put a weight together. And they're two, two, two and a half pounds most of them. And I can't really see much else being caught at the moment so I'm just going to keep ticking along with these and hopefully they keep coming. I think this one is actually a carp. Yeah, it's a nice one as well. Five pound. Lovely F1s they are. Two pound I think. So we've got about 30 minutes to go and uh, I just had a quick look down the edge again and I just hooked one literally straight away. Hopefully it was a little mad rush. The last half an hour down the edge. As you can see the proper fish when they do turn up down there. What's this one about five, six, five, six pounds. So didn't soon put 30 pounds extra on the scales.
Let me change James, thank you. One oh six fifty. Cheers mate. So we've just finished the match here at Rookery. Um, fished a half decent match I can say. Uh, I've uh, just weighed in 106 pound. Um, well, we've only weighed one person in so far, so uh, he's had 50 odd pounds, but I think we'll be in, might be top three, maybe fourth in the match. Um, but yeah, I could have maybe done a little bit different. I started off short, had uh, four or five fish right quick. Um, and then I should have just stayed on the pellet line, just moved moved out to be fair so i just kept putting sections on but i went onto the maggot line um didn't it didn't really take off like it usually do here um i had two carps straight away and then uh, just got loads of silvers coming the peg perched out so uh about two hours in i decided to go back on the pellet line um just just went to my right hand side a little bit out into the open waters not many anglers just around here so i just went to the right hand side a little bit just tapped in a few pellets and um that, that was quite good for about an hour and a half two hours maybe and uh and then uh, i kept trying trying the maggot line but just didn't take off today for some reason but i should have just stayed stayed on the pellets all day um maybe maybe sort of set another line up so i could have rotated um just to keep the fish coming maybe a little bit quicker but i did try down this edge long down the left hand edge here late on uh i think i had one or two carp but again didn't really take off how it usually do so um rig wise um we'll start off on that pellet rig i've just used uh 11 Jura slip uh, to a 4 by 12 Malm and Dusty uh, main lot 015 uh, then just add a just a solid bulk one dropper to a 6 inch um, 013 and then a 16 LWG that was my uh, pellet line uh, maggot rig fishing through the water I thought this one was going to be the one to take off but it, for some reason it didn't today but I used a nine holler uh, little four by tens mom and dusty again 015 to 011 and then uh, an 18 LWG uh, and then done that edge done the edge I've had a a usually big fish come down there so I've I've gone for grey hydro for a short kit and then I've had 017 um, 4 by 14s mom and dusty again just down to a solid bulk and then a uh, 4 inch 013 with a 16 LWG and so yeah that's the match that's the rigs and everything um, They've got a few more people to weigh in, so uh, we'll see how we do and we'll get back to you shortly. Thanks for watching.